Welcome back to Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator 22 Platinum Edition for episode 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Still February 1, it's just gone 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, the snow cleared but I've got more snow coming so I'm trying to use this opportunity as best as I can to do a little bit more stump and grind because I've got a load of tree stumps that I missed because they were under the snow, couldn't see them. So I thought before I'm getting more snow, now whether the snow that's coming, because we've got a little bit coming in February, I think in March it might turn to rain, I don't know if it's going to settle. If it does, I'm going to lose the stumps again for a little bit longer. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to get on it. While I was in the middle of doing this, and a dozen other jobs, because that's what you do, don't you? Um, I've sort of great demand for wood. Now, up at the North Sawmill, I've been cutting those nine metre lengths, bring them down with the cable yarder in towards the sawmill, because I want to use the high lift, um, the Volvo high lift, to do a log load onto the train. To do that kind of one grab log load, fill up the train with what, you know, like we saw in all the videos. However, <laughs> I've just got a great demand at the container warehouse. And when I say great demand, container warehouse, 3,350 for a thousand, significantly higher than everywhere else at the moment. So now the dilemma I've got is all the lumber I've cut and I've been bringing down with the cable yarder, it need, the pile needs a little bit of tidying up if I was gonna load it onto a train. However, with a container, I mean, the question I suppose I need to ask myself is, am I desperate for the money? I've got nearly 700,000 from all the jobs I've been doing. I know I can make more doing various different jobs, selling various different items, selling the planks, selling uh, uh, iron ore, that kind of stuff that I've been doing. Am I desperate for it? What am I more desperate to do? Do I want to use the great demand or do I want to use that high lift and do a log load? And I'm going to go against what I normally do, what my brain normally says, which is, yeah, money, 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 money. You know, it's that kind of, we need more money just in case, because what happens if you want to buy more stuff, you know? And say, you know what, I've been cutting those trees down and bringing them down the hill with the cable yard because I want to load them using the high lift onto the train. So that's what I'm going to do. I've also been considering. Um, I, I, you know, I have made no bones about right from the very start when Silver Run was announced, when it was coming out. I've enjoyed doing my logging maps. You know, I did the Western Wilds, I did Holmerker, I've done various different ones over my Let's Plays over the last iterations of the game. And I like doing logging, I enjoy it. I know not everyone does, but I, I do. Um, and I'm by no means saying I'm getting bored on here because I'm not. I'm enjoying it thoroughly. But I am starting to think and this is very weird, 
like I said, I'm not bored of logging at all, but I do miss farming. I'm missing that that kind of build-up. We've got our sheep, and I need to cut some more grass actually to feed them. So I was wondering whether or not to continue on here and and use the logging to fund the farming. There's a lot of fields that can be bought. So turn my hand from being just a logger to doing a bit of both, which was not what I was intending to do. I just wanted to use all of the new logging stuff, not all of it, a load of the new logging gear, and then um, kind of see where it took us. But now I'm thinking, or the other option is, because I still want to do the roller coaster rides, I, I want to get through far enough that I see some of my trees grow that I planted, and I want to do at least a roller coaster ride. Now, I've been reliably informed by various people that if you ride the roller coaster, I think was it 15 times, you get super strength. Little Easter egg, regardless of whether you're on PC or console, you do get it, which is an unusual one. So, I mean, I definitely want to do that. And my intention was, once I'd done that log load up at the North Sawmill, would be now to just skip ahead once my cotton's ready to go, do an episode where I'm doing my cotton, because I want to make sure I've got plenty going fabric for, for boat building, for sails and stuff. But just get through to when the roller coaster's ready. That was kind of my intention. So I'm a little bit torn now as to, as to the sort of direction to head. I had this kind of dilemma this time last year. Happy New Year to everyone, by the way. <laughs> I did a New Year's Eve episode on SnowRunner. And I'm going to be doing some more on SnowRunner. Because that's got farming in Season 8 of it now. Which is pretty cool. Um, do I change map completely? That's the other dilemma. You know, Do I just say, well, you know what? Let's just, once I've done the roller coaster stuff, and I still do what I was intending to do, skip ahead, do the roller coaster ride stuff, get to when the roller coaster's done. I've done a load of logging, I've used loads of different equipment, I've got the high lift, which is what I intended to do. And then do I find a new map? But my dilemma now is what map I want to play. There are some great maps out there. But again, it's that situation I always find myself in. I could pick a map, I could start a Let's Play, I could be two, three episodes in, and then an absolute corker of a map, or one that I've been waiting for, or something gets dropped that I wasn't expecting. Um, and, and yeah, like I say, I did the same thing this time last year. I had kind of lost my mojo a little bit. I, I was, to be fair, I had had the dreaded lurgy twice and I was not feeling at my best and I was you know, not feeling at all well this time last year. And I wasn't kind of sure what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go with any of it. So, uh, you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, you're probably fully aware I'm not the most decisive of people. <laughs> sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. I think I might have got them all, you know. didn't do too bad. I think I missed maybe five or six. I did say about ploughing this out, grassing it, which I'll probably do as well. So that's going to require getting the plough out, and that's when I know I, I will find stumps. Well, I say I know I will, I might not. I might get lucky and not find the stump at all. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to ignore the, uh, the great demand. And I'm going to carry on doing what I was doing. I'm going to get some stuff into the high lift. I don't know whether it will let me cut the grass. It should do. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to cut grass now. So what I might do is grab the Volvo, go out and get some more grass cut. As you can see, my cotton is growing. We couldn't really see it particularly well when we had all the snow. And it is strangely... It's actually quite nice not having snow here. I'm, I'm kind of looking across thinking, yep. Snow was fun, it was alright when we first got it, it was pretty cool, but now, yeah, I've had enough of snow, I'm ready to go back. So I'm hoping when it snows later it doesn't settle, but I can't guarantee anything really, can I? We've had the big melt. Uh, so, I need to check on the... Actually, what, I'm going to get to here, I'm going to bring down the, the uh, my flatbed, my, my flatbed, my low loader. On the pickup, I'm going to take this up to the North Sawmill because I've got a load of stumps and stuff to cut up there. But while I'm here, I'm going to grab the Volvo. I'm going to get some more grass cut for the sheep. I think I'm pretty good for resources in the ship, the boat building. It seems I keep saying ship building, but the boat yard. And I think the roller coaster at the moment. I think I've got plenty of stuff all there. Everything else is ticking along. Let's get this 
Okay, then we're doing this for a while. Of course, as the snow started, so actually this could probably do with. Let's have a look and see if it needs any work. I have been doing bits of repair here and there. Just on that. Now we're looking. Yeah, it needs a bit of repair. Uh, about the repair -y. No, not really, but I'll do it anyway. Uh, let's give this a bit of a. Get all the winter muck, salt, and everything else off the roads off it. Sounds lovely. So, a question I was going to ask actually was um, just I wondered how people felt about it. With the year two season pass available now um, and the sort of the roadmap, not a huge amount of detail, but a kind of roadmap of where we're going with it. Um, What are people looking forward to? What are they looking forward to in 2023? With regard to either the season pass or just generally speaking, game-wise, are there any maps people are looking forward to? Anything people have got wind of or aware of? If it's not something you're necessarily looking forward to, is there something you really want that we haven't heard about yet? I know people do message me quite a lot asking me about modders and certain mods and are certain modders bringing certain mods to FS22? The other thing is, honestly, I don't know. I, you know, a lot of mods... I do get people asking me a lot about modders and or, you know, this particular mod or a particular map I like. Um, can I contact them and ask them to make it or to do it or, you know. My advice is this, and I, I'm only saying this because a few people ask me over, over the sort of uh, the, the winter break, so to speak, because Giants modding department, as far as I'm aware, aren't back to the night, is that a lot of modders, map makers, do have their... Um, they have, do have an online presence, whether it be Facebook or Discord or you know, wherever it might be. They'll have some kind of social media presence. Not all of them do, but some do. Some of them, when they post their maps and stuff, if you go and look in the Mods Hub, at the bottom of the descriptions, it will often give you an email address or, or a, like I said, a forum thing with... Let's just get that going. See if this will cut for me. Yep, cool. It's okay. Um, and a lot of them will say, you know, if you've got any queries, questions, or anything like that, you can. Now, some modders, I'm thinking 82 Studios 1, who's the other one? When they, They'll often do uh, live streams of modding, and it might be on their Discord server and their Discord chat. And they will often say, you know, that they're, they're open to suggestions, normally on the mod they're working on, a direction maybe that people want them to go in. But, and, and you know, contact, ta contacting a modder is okay, as long as they're open to it. Hammering modders and having a go at them about mods is not the way to go. But also, I, I have found, or I'm as far as I'm aware, a lot of modders and map makers aren't generally open to requests. They don't. Modders and map makers make things that they're quite passionate about. So mods and maps that they're passionate about, that they, you know. It's a pretty, yeah, it's a passion project. I mean, that's the thing about it. To put in the time and effort that the modders do on mods and maps has got to be because they're passionate about it. Um, if they're asked to do something, or not even not forced to, you know what I mean, but asked to do something, if the passion's not there, if there's the, the will and the want to do it, it's much harder to do something. So I, I don't necessarily know people will often say to me you know do you know of any models or map makers that will make I, I don't honestly it's a case of contacting people individually if you want to but please 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 be respectful be nice be you know if you're demanding or rude or you know you're not going to get anywhere I mean that's just that's just kind of general rule for life let's be honest isn't it if you want something if you're talking to people be respectful be kind be you know have a, a open a discussion don't turn it into an argument. It just doesn't get you anywhere. Um, that's just my kind of thoughts on it. And like I say, I'm only saying that because a few people have messaged me, so I thought I'd talk about it while I was doing a bit of cross -cut. So what I'm going to do is get this done. I need to have a real think now about what I do. Because I'm kind of in my head now. This is a logging. And this is not, it's not a logging map, but it is. that's what I have been doing on here. Do I want to start 
fresh when I finish on here. I'm not saying I'm finishing on here, but when I finish on here, do I want to start fresh on a new map and go farming? Or do I want to extend this out and go farming on here? I'm erring more on using this one as the farming map that I've been doing it on and going elsewhere to do farming, I think. Now, I know a lot of people will suggest different maps and I appreciate that. And I've done mod reviews on most or map tours on most maps that have come out. There have been a few I haven't. I've missed when I've been on holiday and stuff like that. And again, over the break, people have been asking me, am I going to go back and look at X, Y and Z? Uh, generally, I don't. If I've missed them when I've been on holiday, other modders, uh, other, uh, other reviewers, other YouTubers will often do map tours. I know people say, yeah, but we wait for yours. If I'm a week behind the curve or, or even longer, as I've been away, doesn't have the same impact um, and the same with a few mods that came out like Christmas Eve and stuff like that on, on which was a Saturday which I wasn't expecting I was heading to my brothers a lot of people have been saying to me you're gonna go back and look at the vineyard pack I wasn't intending to um, so yeah it's a tricky one but I just, I just thought I'd, I'd mention it I've just got to decide what I'm gonna do I think I'll probably fill this, and then we'll uh, walk it over, get the sheep fed to make sure they're topped up. Because I think, actually, let's double check that we're not far off either them having reproduced. Oh, we're at sixty percent. Some are at eighty. The first lots I got are at eighty. So next month, I think, or maybe as we're going to March, not February two, but as we're going to March, we'll get new births. So we we'll have a load more sheep in there as well. So I think if I just keep them topped up, that's one of the best thing I can do. I think most of the stumps are clear down, uh, well, where I've, where I've been doing my previous logging. I think I've got them all. If I find the old one, I can always come back. I'm taking this now, the Raptor, up to the North Sawmill area. However, I can't strap it down. Um, on this trailer, for some reason, there seems to be a bit of bother. It straps down, the whole thing straps down, which is amazing. Normally, you just get the sort of lock-in script, but it will strap over the entire vehicle. However, every time I do, for some reason, the Raptor starts to shuffle sideways and the entire trailer tips over. So I've kind of come up here a little bit slower than I normally would. Although it is still moving. I don't know if you can see, it's shifting slightly. Um, yeah, without strapping it down to just take my time. What I'm probably going to do is use the Raptor just to tidy up my log pile a little bit. And then we'll use the high lift. I'll get the train. I don't know if I've got enough logs to fill it. Um, which is my only concern. Yeah, that's going to fall off, isn't it? I need to get this unloaded quickly before the train comes back again and I get clobbered. Of course. If I turn too sharply, that's going to tip over. There we go. Okay, well, let's take down the sign. Which is not unusual for me either. Okay, that's not worked. I don't know why it doesn't like it. I can't, you know, it's obviously shifted slightly because it's not strapped down, but I just, I cannot strap it down. The whole thing just tips over. Come on. Get yourself free, maybe. It's not going as well as I had hoped. There we go. <laughs> I mean, I own, I own this. You know, I own the sawmill, so it's my sign. <coughs> we'll get it put up at some point. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. Pull that, pull that there. I did also bring up that um, that timber container thing that I've, I've got. That I was doing all my offcuts with. That's up on the side of the hill. I have shifted my... Um, cable yarder from the big tree that was on I've moved over to the right because um, because of the trees I've cleared I've got more trees to the right of it than I had to the left um, so what I've just done is shifted over slightly good thing is well now the snow's gone I can get the wood chips out of there without picking snow up on the conveyor belt which will make life a little bit easier as well I, I had originally intended 
like I say, I was going to load up the log trailer. But I guess I would have done that if I'd have been doing logging further away. If I'd been doing logging elsewhere, I probably would have done that. Um, but in all honesty, because I'm so close to where we're going to load onto the train, I think I'll probably just use the high lift. Just up the hillside there, how much we've cleared. It looks a lot different now, now we've got the snow. Uh, I might pack the cable yard away while I move these. Just trying to think. Make life a little bit easier, won't it? Although there's no collision on the cables themselves, I guess, you know, from the previous episode when I drove through, there was, you know, obviously, yes, it wasn't realistic. You wouldn't be able to drive through the cables in real life. Let's lower that down. I'm not going to turn it on, but we can. Can I raise and lower it a little myself? I'm trying to think, I can do that, can I? And that. I can't raise and lower that. Okay, we're on the floor, that's alright. Just think if I can give these a bit of a shove just to tidy them up a little bit. Makes life a little bit easier. Can I move that cone? No, they are knocked down the ball. Can I move it? Yeah, let's get out of the way. Put it there for the moment. sticking off the other end I'll tidy them up as well I'll just miss the train going past we'll wait for it to come back I'll show you where I'm up to uh, with the uh, logging at the moment we're at that point as we, we get with any logging map same as it was on Western Wilds I mean I have been I've been at that point a lot to be fair that the work in between is taking a while because to build up enough logs takes a bit of time doing the logging. That's just the nature of the beast. Let's tidy that up a little bit so I can get in there. There we go. Actually, we might have enough for a log grabber. I don't know if it's enough to fill up one of the log cars. It might be. Okay, I'm going to the other end so we can get the other ones. Let's raise them a little bit. most of them, let's see. Yeah, some on the floor, some a little bit higher. Let's do the higher ones first. And drop it down to the low ones. I think it's probably about as good as we're going to get at the moment. So what I could do is, I've just suddenly realised there's a mod, isn't there? Um, log poles. I should have used those, shouldn't I? Maybe I'll do that. We'll have a look at those. Now we've had the the, the big melt, the Thor. Thor, love and lumber. I think I can remove them afterwards. I just think it might be easier if I can pile the logs up in between just for grabbing them with the, the grab. I'm going to see if I can find them. If I can, I'm going to grab them. We'll put them in. Actually, what we'll do, let's head up the hill first. I've tied that last log up. We'll have a look at where we stand up there at the moment. I've got a few annoying bits. Using the yarder has been fine. What I've been doing is just leaving it on the full extent, dragging it down the hill, then letting them go, and they kind of just come to a, to come to rest. A uh, few of the logs I've just allowed to roll down the hill. You know when you often see the like logging and uh, lumber work being done when they roll trees down into the rivers and that kind of stuff, and then they get kind of gathered up to go to a sawmill in a river. I've been kind of doing that, allowing them to roll down to the bottom of the hill, then gather them at the bottom as well. It's just doing a combination of what, what works best, really, and what whatever you feel like. Now let's see if this gets up. This isn't the fastest bit of equipment anyway. Might have to reverse up the hill. Might just got a winch, I suppose. I wonder if it did. Can I winch myself up the hill? Probably. We've got more stumps and stuff to get rid of here, which I think I'll get on with. few pesky branches and things that have kind of been in the way. Like this 
here. So we can't get that. There we go. There's another one over here as well. Right, so let's turn that off a second. Let's see how this fares at going up the hill. Now there's no snow, we've got a bit more traction, which makes stuff a little bit easier. It's going to slow right down, but it's just whether it comes to a stop. No, this thing is just an absolute monster. He says, come on, beastie. You can do it. <laughs> it would break a sweat. Full speed, up we go. Up the middle with smoke. Plenty of it. Flood the cowling. Right. Well, that had no no problem whatsoever. Right. So as I said, I've got a load of stumps to get rid of up here. A few of these annoying bits. So as logs are moving and rolling, they kind of get hung up a little bit. And I have got my uh, log carrier for all my offcuts here. So they'll all go down and they'll go into the, uh, the wood chipper later on. And I'm thinking about if we get to the top of the hill of... Um, that's where I'm probably going to put my cabin. I said about before moving my cabin and having a new one with a nice view. So I said about doing it up here maybe. And once I've cleared a few trees, I mean I know there's that, that up there, but it might be quite nice up here. We have a plan. So I'm going to go see if I can get those log things and I'll... I'll um... That's cool, isn't it? You get those moments you're stopping like, yeah, I like that. Look, a bit of everything, train going past, sawmill, logging equipment, doesn't get any better. I have put some in place. I said I was going to get them. These are um, wooden supports supplied and installed by Jelinek. You can have them single or you can have them double. So if you do singles, you can have them much wider apart if you're going for full trees or if you're going for 12 meter logs. I think I've got enough room between these to get the high lift to grab. I just want the log pile to go up between these posts rather than uh, obviously the more you pile up they tend to, it can, tends to spread out a long way I just thought it would be a lot easier so the other thing I've done is the rest of the pile and a couple of trees I've, more I've cut down I've pushed them all up against this log pile here to try and straighten them up a little bit um, and I've moved the I've disconnected the cable yard I've moved out of the way a little bit so we can hopefully get these set up. What I'll do is once I've loaded these in between the log poles and I should have been doing this as I was going along I completely forgot about them and I suddenly thought how do I stop that log pole spreading? There are some mobile ones as well that have got a concrete base. Um, I can't remember how those are fine but there are some. So I'll put these all between there and then we'll go and grab the high lift I'll get the train and we'll load up. I don't know if we'll fill up I don't think we'll fill up both of the train carriages we might get one of them filled or one in a bit, we'll see. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do when I take them is, um, take the logs, that is. It was, you know, I said before about when I was delivering stuff like by pallet, by train, a lot of people had said that pallets were coming off and it wasn't delivering properly, that kind of thing. A few people did message me and say, make sure that when you go out to, when you send the train off and off it goes to the into the tunnel, check to make sure you haven't got any pallets that have fallen off there because a lot of people have found that's been happening so I think what I'll do is when I send this load of lumber off we will check we'll send the lumber we'll walk on the track a little bit further in case there's any um, pallets out there that have come off the train there, there could be if there are I might as well scoop them up I, I, I wouldn't have thought to check so thank you to everyone that kind of suggested it actually this works really well um, I'm just not sure the pole's going to be quite Oh, we might be all right actually. Get the grab in there. And then, yeah, we'll see how we go. Couple. Not quite. Not that, that. There we go. So 
those down to the gap. Why have I not thought of using these before now? That's like so much easier. I've had three game crashes in the last half an hour. I thought I was getting them because of the snow, which is what I originally, you know, I hadn't had any until we had the snow. And I thought maybe so, I've got a lot of logs maybe. I, I, I couldn't, I don't know what's caused it. Um, I'm trying to kind of identify what's different between what, what have I added. I think possibly the Raptors, the only thing I've bought trying to think if I had any game crashes before I bought the Raptor. Could be that. I might have to go to the base model. So what we're going to do now is stop that turn the engine off. I'm going to go and grab... Like, it's a lot of double handing because of where I am. I, I, again, it's just a, kind of more of a proof of concept. I've just moved the logs from there. I could have just grabbed them with the grab, but I wanted to give this a go and make sure it kind of... And it's, it's working an absolute tree. I could have put them closer together to give myself a slightly taller, narrower stack further apart like i say singles doubles um and once you've installed them you'll find them in build mode i think under was it decoration i think it was decoration as far as i know when they're done you can sell them they're not expensive i think it's a hundred for a double set so even if i left them where they are it's not the end of the world um yeah so what we'll do is i think i'll get the train first because that might take a little while for it to come and we'll go and grab the high lift we'll grab a load i'm going to back the train up to there I haven't got to worry about taking loose logs there because that will only take containers. Um, the other way around, I, I didn't want to take containers to load onto the train there because the containers will disappear once you go over the cell point. So I had to just be a little bit careful which way around I did it. That's all. We've got a little bit more wood chip just coming out of there. How are we looking as it stands at the moment? There's a fair bit on there. That's good. Um, oh yeah, I restocked this and um, down at the bottom, how much am I up to now? I've got a fair bit actually, all this, all the sort of lumber I've been fiddling around with. Cartons, same store enough, I'm assuming they're going to be quite big rolls because I haven't had a lot, I need to deliver some more wood there, that was the other place I forgot, I need to take some. Uh, barrels are still cracking along. Um, floor tiles, staircase, railings, that's full at the moment and I've got that on distributing, distributing, but nowhere else it seems to need it at the moment. Um, what was I checking? Oh here, yeah, yeah, uh, 106,000 and then my other sawmill, there you go. So that one, the where I'm just doing planks, which at the moment I've stopped for the moment, at the moment I've stopped for the moment, at the moment I've stopped. I've got 156,000 litres of lumber in there now, so if I ran all that through, I'd be getting a fair amount. A little bit more planks to lumber in, plus you also get the wood chips and you get the bark mulch, so I would get more than 156,000 pallets of planks, which is nuts. I mean, I know I did it on um, Western Wilds, uh, and it worked brilliantly. At least on here I can use them for other things as well rather than just selling. So we should go on that. I just need to double check that I did that. That window on. Oh, how about that for timing? There was me thinking, oh, I'll... Uh, I don't want to turn that on. Um, I'll go and get the lumber while the train's coming. But we're only a few hundred metres off anyway. So I'll get in the train, we'll back it up, we'll get the high lift. Yeah. See how this goes, and then we'll whiz round, we'll check and see on the situation with regard to um, pallets that might have fallen off. Long planks, I might have to gather a load of these up onto a trailer and deliver some to various different locations. There we go. Oh, I could load it up here, I suppose, couldn't I? But it's not as big a gap to get up the ramp here between this. I mean, this is more designed for loading all these on. So I will back it up, I think. Let's hop in there. I'm pretty sure these carriages for the lumber. I'm hoping I'm going to get with nine meters. I, I didn't measure it up. I just thought I wouldn't get twelves on there. If I if it transpires now I can't get nines on there, then we can have got a problem. That was so slow. <laughs> we'll see how this pans out. If I can line up the rear one with the ramp. And I can always move it around after that. And 
strangely enough. See if we've lined up all right. That will do. I'm sure we'll get nines on there, won't we? The moment of truth has arrived. And after all that setting up and prepping, getting the train, I'm going to save the game because I cannot, I don't want to risk this crashing. <laughs> So we get on. They're not quite central, so I need to make sure I get more central, I think. Let's try that. Just turn that out a bit further, there we go. Grabbed enough? We're about to find out, aren't we? Not really, I'm going to lose some out of there, aren't I? Whoa, that's not liking the weight on that. In that a little bit closer, I think. There we go. That bottom one's going to fall out, isn't it? It's not going to stay there. And I'm going to run over it. Come on, get to the train. Tally ho. You know what? We might have enough to load both cars up. So, moment of truth. Have I managed to get the right length? I might have got 12s on there, you know. I was convinced it wouldn't be long enough. Maybe it would have been. Well, not completely filled with one load, but not bad. So we get another one there. I'm still. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gutted that you can't buy these piles. And I thought when you got when you bought the uh, sawmill, having these as individual piles that you could buy, I thought would have been absolutely brilliant. I mean, they wouldn't, they shouldn't, and wouldn't have been cheap. But I guess because the amount of lumber that's there, as a, as a stack of stuff there as a decoration, that's fine. If they were all individual logs, then, yeah, the game would like just it would flip out. The, uh, <laughs> I think it would uh, ever so slightly struggle with the frame rate, I think. Yeah, we're looking. Do you know why I've got that on? That was surprised at something. To be more at the edge. I needed this. I should have put these log poles closer together. Uh, log poles. The, the log poles. The wood um, wood supports. Should have put them close together. The same width as the grab, and then would have been perfect, wouldn't it? Let's see if we try that. Nope. Oh, this one. So no problem doing it with the controller. Because to closing it is the same as rotating it. So you always get that. So frustrating. Oh, it's on. Right. I'm going to get the rest of that out between those two 
uh, supports. We'll load up the train and then I'll, we'll head down and we'll see what the situation is with regard to pallets. Okay, so I didn't have enough to completely fill the train, but I had more than one train car's worth. So, again, I'm more than happy with that. Uh, let's take this off and see what the situation is. <laughs> I, I mean, the whole time I was doing it, I was just smiling. It's what I, like I say. I've said it enough times, I know, but um, it's what Giant showed, didn't they, when the game was getting ready to be released. Those early videos and little shots and little bits they showed us was this um yeah i could have got more in both but time is against me i'm sure the snow's supposed to start again about five o'clock so i wanted to get this done i could have spent a bit more time doing more logging but i didn't want to be doing this bit as it was getting dark with snow coming down so what we'll do we'll head off i've, I've done the train journey a few times now was it three or four times now I'll see you when we get out there. We'll send the train through to sell the lumber that we've got on here. And then we'll check the track to see if there's any pallets. So I'll see you over there in a minute. Right, crossing the bridge, not far to go now. So, as far as the train goes now on Silver Run, we have delivered pallets, we have done containers, and now we've done loose lumber. That's kind of ticked all the boxes of things I wanted to achieve. So, let's see what we get for the lumber. It won't be as much as if I'd done it by container. I could have done, but like I said earlier, I'm, we're okay for money at the moment. Okay. So... That's all right. Another, what's that, 72 grand? So let's have a check. I don't think there's anything left laying here. Oh, no, there is, look. But I can't get to it, or can I? We've got one. Good shout. Good shout, I've to come and collect that. I mean, I could carry it all the way back, I suppose. I think that's the only one. There's none that have gone down the side here. That's not bad when you think I had... All the pallets I delivered in the previous episode to only have one sat there. I'll take that. Now, if it's anything like the other end, there's a little bit off to the side where it, where it took them. No, it's not going to do, is it? Like a little sell point bit. But, um, no, I'll carry that back. So, lumber off the hillside, cable yard are used, uh, stump grinding, we've had a bit of a thaw, snow's gone, at least for the time being. I've used the high lift, we've loaded logs onto the train, so I guess now it's going to be moving forward with the roller coaster construction. We might have a couple of time lapses, I'm trying to think about how the best way of going about that is. 
um, because we're going to have to scoot through a few months now. I'll say a few months, well, years really, but um, I'm going to need to periodically check on the boatyard I'm not too bothered about in so much as once the next boat has been built, I'm not going to do another boat through there yet because that'll be two boats I will have done. I want to focus on the roller coaster. So every so often I'm going to need to check and see what what um, resources it's going to need. While that's all chugging away, um, my resources will all still keep going. I am going to do a bit of lumber every now and again, though, because obviously my various different productions are going to require it. So um, that'll have to be stuff I kind of do in between... Yeah, well, was I don't really just want to skip ahead to the roller coaster being finished, but I suppose we could do an episode where we kind of. I don't. Know, I'll have a think about it. <laughs> I'll think about how we're going to do this. I was thinking about buying the Hannibal. Um, I, I like the forestry like harvesters. I'm not a big fan of fella bunches. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do really with that. I'm trying to remember whether the Hannibal, the Hannibal does cut to length or whether it's just a fella buncher. Because I could save up and get one of those. That was another one of the bits of equipment that when the, it all was coming out, I thought, that looks immense, just incredible. Let's have a quick look. Um, under forestry. I haven't really used a skidder, but... Oh, 750 grand. I've got enough to buy it now. It would leave me with absolutely nothing. This machine can cut down trees. But I can't remember whether or not... I mean, look at it. It is a bit of a monster, isn't it? Maybe if I can make enough money, we could finish the series on that. Buy the Hannibal and give it a go. Or maybe buy the Hannibal, cut down full trees and use a skidder. Because I, these are items I don't, I don't tend to use. Yeah, the eight four eight, the John Deere. I, I'm not, not things I generally. Although I did say about, I've been enjoying doing the wood, the um, wood chipping, wood chipper at North Sawmill. Been using the beaver rater because the beaver rater was would do wood chips and would do the stones. But there's that. The Zerion Wood Crusher, I wouldn't mind giving that a go as well. Too much cool stuff. Anyway, <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>